Hey guys, I'm Max. This is my father, my last race. So looking at the entries, I can't, I can't do this with those two. <laughs> hey Max, this is my last race. I want to say oh, goodbye yeah. to everyone. I want to go through some names. Just, you know, appreciate their effort to beat me. They never succeeded, but, you know, like Ryan Deal, you know. He's a crier, he cry all the time, he got far, he got fast, oh he hit me. I spun because he hit me, he spun three corners after, or well, whatever. And uh, what about Derani, what do you know, Derani? I heard about, about him, like the new Senna, and he passed us with 10 miles more top speed. Is that new Senna? This is a bandage he had? And uh, let, me, let me think, oh Christian Fittipaldi, when there is a crash, he's always in the middle. And it's never his fault. And it's never his fault. What? Who knows about it? Oh, in the, on the positive note, you know, look at this. Sebastian Burilla, Nick Eidfeld, Neil Gianni in one car. That's just amazing. They are superstar, very good drivers. Unbelievable. And then there is there are other good drivers, many, many, many good drivers in this race. I just you know this is the three that came up right away. Obviously my teammates, Ricky Jordan and Jeff, better than them. You know, they're pretty good, all of us. Oh Colin Brown. You know, Colin Brown, he was very young at the beginning and uh, very vindictive, okay? So he was always the innocent and uh, he was so vindictive. The following race, if he had something to do or if I did something to him, the following race, in free practice, he would have hit me. Hit the door of the car, pushed me in the pit lane. And, you know, so this is what you deserve. That was kind of funny, funny dude. And uh, what about Andy Lally? Andy Lally? It's great. I love him very much. Every time he saw me coming because he's always in the GT, me driving the prototype, I was kind of overtaking him in like 10 times in, a, in an hour's stint. And every single time he showed me the middle finger. Think about the effort for a driver in a race to just check when I was approaching him and make sure waving the middle finger to me every single time. That was amazing. Bill, Bill Oberlin. You know, I really wanted to go and apologize to him. Uh, I had an incident with Bill Oberlin in 1999 and since then I just wanted to go to him and say I'm sorry. That was my fault. But the, the way that he looked at me every time it scared me, you know, I, I never, I never, so what I said is, uh, it's since 99, I just wanted to go to him, and I'm sorry, and, and I never had the courage to do that, because he has such nasty look in his face, and I just felt like he's gonna hit me, and anyway, the point is that uh, in 99, we were in Canada, and I was over aggressive, and uh, I hit him, he flipped, he went over the, the, the rail landed upside down, knocked unconscious, and I've been told that he was dead because you know they had to re I say resuscitate. I don't know the word in English. You know I felt very bad, and uh, I know that was my fault. And uh, but yeah, such a nasty look. So I'm gonna take the opportunity and tell Bill I'm very sorry. I'm still very sorry for what I did. But you're back alive and you know, still racing and you're gonna race for much longer than me. How about, how about Jeff Siegel? Do you guys know about Jeff Siegel? He's a driver, he drives GT cars, GTD. Uh, I don't know, did he won a championship? Probably he won one championship in I don't know how many, 30 years time or something. But uh, you know, he's so, I call him a super champ. You know, he has such a, a High, uh, I say, I say, uh, he has such a high opinion of himself that you know works in a different planet. And the way he did in the racetrack is the worst of everyone. How many drivers we have here? Probably 140. He is definitely the worst. He does not respect anybody, he does not give away to anybody. He drives GT, which is the slowest car on track, but. It takes us more than one lap to overtake him. Why? Because he does not like to be overtaken. And he's driving a GT. And it has nothing to do with the overall final results. Anyway, it's, I, I guess it's a matter of ego. 
But man, right, 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 what's my name? What's my name? I like him. Scrap for my name. <laughs> what's his name? Brian. Chris. No. Brian. Brian. Brian Till. No, Brian. It's not Brian. No, it's not Brian. I got him, Chris. I got you. It's Chris, right? Yes. <laughs> Scott Pruitt. Man, it has been a pleasure to race against Scott Pruitt because. He took so much abuse from me and never complained. And uh, sometimes I even felt bad. And sometimes I, I felt like, no, I can't do this again to him. Uh, that was good. So, what can I say? I'm happy he's back racing. Starting GT is, is good. You know, it's a very competitive category, but it will be so great to have a you know, a final goal with uh, Scott Brewer in the DPI in Daytona, but unfortunately that is not the case. And then for the displeasure of the majority, I'm not going away. I'm not going to be driving, so a lot of people will be happy. I'm going to be around, hanging around, do something. I'll figure. Bye.